Hi everyone. For this week's episode, I'm going to show you how to take a song that you originally created in Reason and convert it into a record song using the individual mix channels in Record to process and sculpt the mix instead of the 14 by 2 mixer that's in Reason. All right, let's do it. Opening a Reason song in Record is very easy. Just select Open from the File menu and locate your song. As you see here, the song is loaded and looks and sounds exactly as it did in Reason. But what happens is that Record assigns the final output of the song to a single stereo mix channel, post-mastering if you used any M-Class mastering devices. If you are using any effects on the effects ends of the 14 by 2 mixer, you should connect those to the FX send and return of the master section of Record like this. And for your own sanity, keep them in the same order as you had them connected to the 14x2 mixer. What we want to do next is delete the 14x2 mixer. Select it and then press delete on your QWERTY keyboard. You're going to get the dialog asking if you want to delete the selected only or delete all in the group. We're going to select delete all in group so it removes the mixer and any mastering devices that are connected. Now let's save the song as a record file. And without closing that song, open that same exact reason song again so we have it in a separate window like this. And the reason we're doing this is so that we can reference back to the original song in case we need to either duplicate any mixer settings or any special routings that we had. In the record song, Highlight Select All Devices from the Edit menu, holding down the Apple key or the Command key on a Windows computer. Deselect any devices that you connected to the master section. In the Edit menu, choose Auto Route Device. You should get a mix channel for each device in your song, like this. But there may be some devices that are not routed properly. Usually that's anything that has been routed to a Spider Audio or some other unique routing that you set up. That is why we saved the song as a record song and then opened the same .rns file as a reference to duplicate any of those routings and also to copy any mixer automation that we might have had in the original song so it can also be applied to the mix channels in the record song. Referencing back to the original Reason song file, adjust the mix channel settings and any effect sends so that you are somewhat close to how the original song sounded when it was in Reason. Personally, I like to start from scratch and mix from the ground up and work with the EQ, dynamics, faders, and effects in Record, since ultimately I'm going to get a much different result on Mixdown than I did in Reason, but feel free to do whatever is easiest for you. As you can see here, we now have the song ready to go and record, so we can do the mix and record, and possibly record some audio tracks along with it. As you will see, using the separate mix channels in Record with the EQ and dynamics that you have for the Mixdown of the song that you created in Reason, is going to get you an entirely different experience and sound, and hopefully make you achieve professional sounding mixes in a much quicker and easier fashion. Well, that's it for this week, and I'll see you all next week. Bye.